Kamikaze drone boats will beat Russia in 40 seconds. A $3.7 billion infrastructure asset is in jeopardy. Boats can change the course of a war. Russia will be defeated in two seconds by a stealthy maritime menace Kamikaze drone boats. Thank you very much. Two seismic detonations disrupted the calm of the Black Sea on an unassuming Monday. The Kerch Bridge, a 12-mile span connecting Russia and the seized Crimean Peninsula, took the brunt of a methodically planned attack. The masterminds of this bold offensive were reputedly the Ukrainian Federal Security Service, the SU, and their Navy. This assault marked the beginning of a new epoch of war, a marriage of time-honored military strategy and cutting-edge technology in the form of unmanned surface vessels. USVS. Ukraine had boldly emerged from the shadows, revealing its newly discovered technological skills on the global stage. The scale of the onslaught was obvious on the damaged bridge, bringing vehicular traffic to a halt and jeopardizing an estimated $3.7 billion infrastructure asset. The result was a magnificent display of strategic execution and technological prowess, catapulting Ukraine into the limelight and marking a watershed point in world warfare history. In the face of this catastrophe, Russia exhibited steely resolve. President Vladimir Putin promised a firm reply in a televised address, guaranteeing the swift rebuilding of the Kerch Bridge and an unwavering pursuit of justice against the attackers. As the clock struck 12, Russian forces leapt into action, spearheading the recovery efforts with the single purpose of quickly restoring the bridge's operational status beyond the physical damage. The attack on the Hertz Bridge was a significant blow in Russia's continuing confrontation with Ukraine. The bridge shutdown caused logistical delays, forcing Russian supply networks to reroute across dangerous territory, making them vulnerable to Ukraine's long-range weaponry. Meanwhile, Ukrainian forces exhibited a remarkable advancement in its warfare skills by conducting a high-stakes operation approximately 400 kilometers away from their closest shoreline. The aftermath of the strike weakened Russia-Ukraine relations, causing Russia to cancel the Black Sea grain venture, demonstrating the far-reaching consequences of this new era of technology-driven warfare. Keep an eye out because the true perpetrator of this atrocity is about to be uncovered. Drone kamikaze boats in an era where technical advancement and naval strength converge. Unmanned surface boats, USVS, which are suspected of being behind the Kerch Bridge attack, are revolutionizing maritime warfare by acting as sea sentinels and enhancing territorial defenses. Ukraine's strong development in tactical uncrewed surface warships is of particular relevance. These aren't just any maritime vessels, but repurposed Canadian sea dew jet skis that have been transformed into potent defense mechanisms for Ukraine's maritime borders. The vessels, purchased through an ambitious crowdfunding campaign, have a modest price tag of $250,000. Armed with electro-optical infrared periscopes and Starlink satellite communications antennae, they are capable of long-range remote operations, representing a significant advancement in the realm of naval warfare. With a carrying capacity of up to 1,000 kilograms and a combat load of up to 200 kilograms, these small 5.5-meter-long vessels demonstrate astounding force. These USVS have a range of 800 kilometers and an operational radius of up to 400 kilometers. These naval warriors can reach speeds of up to 80 kilometers per hour and are equipped with advanced GNSS autonomous inertial and operational navigation capabilities. These vessels are capable of operating autonomously for up to 60 hours. Furthermore, these boats provide secure communication using 256-bit encryption while broadcasting up to three HD video feeds, reinforcing their position as deadly adversaries in naval warfare. Parallel to Ukraine's efforts, the United States Navy is forging its own route in the field of USVS. The Seahawk, built by Litos for $35.5 million as part of a contract won by the Office of Naval Research in 2017, is a notable addition to this fleet. 
The Seahawk, a 145-ton trimaran intended as a sister ship to the Navy's Sea Hunter, was designed to run for months without maintenance or crew. It is an enhanced version of the Sea Hunter that incorporates over 300 lessons learned during the program to improve the craft's dependability. These drone boats, outfitted with a launcher designed to hold eight Hero 120 loitering munitions, provide a serious threat to targets on land and sea. The LRUSS is capable of semi-autonomous operations, taking commands from remote operators and providing critical support for their human counterparts in high-stake missions. 120th Hero, a unique LRUSS component, functions as a loitering munition, combining the characteristics of a conventional missile and a drone. Despite its lightweight 10-pound warhead, the Hero 120 has a range of 37 miles and adds to the LRUSV's already strong array of attack and reconnaissance capabilities. The crux of this maritime technology rivalry ultimately comes down to a trade-off balance. If cost-effectiveness and speed are priorities, Ukraine makes a convincing case. If the emphasis is on attaining high-tech multifunctional capabilities, the USSR USVS is a good contender. The Hero 120 is a formidable weapon, but if the Ukraine and the United States want to compare, the Naval Strike Missile is an excellent option. The Naval Strike Missile, NSM, is a stealthy, long-range weapon with the capability of engaging in both sea and land conflicts. Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace created this cutting-edge missile system. A Norwegian corporation costs about $1.2 million each unit. Despite its high cost, its characteristics distinguish it from the American Hero 120 loitering munition, giving Ukraine a strategic advantage on the worldwide battlefield. With minimal visible features and unpredictable flight routes, the NSM is designed to avoid detection by adversaries. A worthwhile expenditure in order to preserve a technological advantage in defense. It employs an imaging infrared IIR technology for terminal homing, allowing it to withstand radio frequency warning and RF jamming measures. When compared to the Hero 120, which costs over $70,000 per unit, the NSM has a greater reach, spanning lengths of up to 124 miles and performing not just sea skimming but also complex terminal maneuvers. The missile's dual-band IRR seeker ensures precise target recognition, whether at sea or on land. It is capable of transporting a 125-kilogram high explosive. The fragmentation warhead is significantly heavier than the Hero 120's 10-pound payload. The operator in the loop control is unique to the American Hero 120, which is generally assigned for intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance activities. This feature gives a human operator control over the whole flight of the munition, improving target identification and accuracy. If paralleling American U.S. fees armed with the Hero 120S is a consideration, the NSM appears to be a strategic option best suited for Ukraine. Adopting the NSM would provide you with a level playing field due to its ability to hit heavily protected maritime targets in contested areas and extra capacity for land operations. By incorporating the NSM into their defense arsenal, the Ukrainian defense forces would greatly improve their capabilities. Ukraine would not only align its tactical advantages with the U.S., equipped with its Hero 120-laden LRUSVS, but it would also acquire a competitive edge in the global scene. The missile in service or selected by numerous countries has the potential to significantly strengthen Ukraine's maritime defense capabilities, representing a significant investment in the country's future security. Advances in naval technology are advancing at a relentless pace which bodes well for the future of USVS. Stagnation is the enemy, and continuous adaptability and innovation are the warriors. With future USVS expected to have beefed enhanced AI capabilities, the relentless march of automation and remote operations shows little signs of abating. As a result, greater autonomous decision-making and strategic activities are possible. Simply told, the naval combat game is evolving. Weapons such as the Hero 120 and the Naval Strike Missile NSM are not simple footnotes in this story. They are the stars, the game changers, 
When outfitted, they have the ability to redefine the limits of a military engagement on USBs. These devices may strike from a long distance, slipping past hostile defenses and wreaking havoc on the enemy ranks. They are simply essential to any naval strategy. Unmanned vehicles, such as the Seahawk and Ukraine's drone boats, have the potential to be key participants in the future. MVPs and probable war scenarios with advanced capabilities and the capacity to be outfitted with lethal weaponry such as the Hero 120 and NSM. These machines have the potential to be strategic masterstrokes on the battlefield. And this is just the beginning. Stealth capabilities, communication systems, and jammer resistance have all improved. All of these things could be part of future U.S. technology. The possibilities are infinite. Offensive capabilities could be enhanced by incorporating sophisticated missile systems or battle circumstances. As autonomous ships and powerful missiles drive the flow of naval warfare, nations such as Ukraine must be at the fore. This might be the tip of an iceberg amid a sea of possibilities. Keep an eye on the waves to see how they change. Remember to subscribe and like this video. Thank you for taking the time to watch.